My favorite Silent Hill game is, uh... It might be the first one, to be honest. I gotta go back and play them, though. It's been a long time. Um... Maybe that, be, that might be fun to do, go back and replay them. It's, it's been several years since I played any of them. But, you know what it is, too? I feel like... There's just something about those low-polygon graphics that add to the creepiness of the original Silent Hill. That the later ones... They're still creepy games, but something about the shitty graphics of the first one just make it scarier. That's why I really like that... Uh... There's this, there's this trend now that's kind of coming up in horror games where they want to have them have that PS1 aesthetic. Like, I mean, the obvious one is Dusk. I mean, granted, that's more influenced by Quake and stuff like that, but still, like, there's there's even a whole thing that I saw. It was, um, like a PlayStation 1 horror project or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, I found it after I did the Dread X collection. And I played that one game, Shatter. I was like, I gotta learn more about this developer. So I went and looked, wound up subscribing to his Patreon. And then I found all of these PlayStation 1 styled horror indie developers. Um, and then there's, there's quite a few of them. Uh, yeah, PS1 horror demo disc kind of thing. That seems like, that's probably the thing that I found. There's actually, there is one that was really fucking cool. Um, after I'm done with this fight, I'm gonna look it up on Twitter. But basically, it, it was another shooter. But there was like a lot of cool, um... Just like the way you interact with the fucking world. Uh, not interact with the world, like interact with the enemies. Like there's a part where your character gets stabbed and it you have to kind of fight while like dealing with the knife inside of you oh yeah it was james dornan dev was the guy who made this like this is like a one-man indie developer yeah uh, see like that's fucking cool like the guy like he puts the knife in you and you're like meleeing him to get him away while you pull the knife out there's a lot of ways you could do tense shit with this stoked to see where this project winds up going but just in general, I feel like that low poly look makes for just really cool horror stuff. And that's that's part of why Silent Hill 1 will always be my favorite one. I honestly I was recently looking back at um, Silent Hill 2. I forgot what kind of got me thinking about it again. I forgot what got me thinking about it again. But I was kind of I spent the night looking back through the old endings for some reason. Actually, what was cool too if you guys weren't watching when I played Shatter, going back to the, the Dread X collection, um, what was really, it was this cyberpunk open world kind of game, but it was a horror game, and it, there's a part where you kind of, there's a, a system in the game, it's not a finished game, it's kind of, the, the idea of the Dread X collection I think it was that, like, what would these developers, like, make? What What's, like, a short game these guys could make that they would like to have the budget to make a full game? So in Shatter, he has, has this part where you go with... You need to do something in, in this world that's basically automatically generated by this computer. So you're going into, like, an AI copy of the world that you were already in, and it winds up being, like, this cyberpunk Silent Hill thing. It's mad fucking cool. Yeah, like, Silent Hill 1, even, I remember that first scene, I remember playing that in the demo, where you go into that alleyway, and then all of a sudden, you go into the dark Silent Hill, and the fucking demon babies come out of the shadows, and you can barely see anything. But when I played that demo, I had never seen anything like that. I even, I remember there were some different sounds in the demo, too, that were even freakier, in my opinion. Like, it sounded more mechanical in the demo. Why, why are you squatting looking at the jackets all creepy? You don't gotta sneak, it's in public for you to look at. What the fuck is this guy's name? Fucking Bob Johnson? Bob, <laughs> Bob Tsunamiya.